to summer. Stacey Pengen, I need some summer outlook. What's going on? <laughs> well, first, I want to actually look back to what last summer was like. Last summer was a memorable one. Kids out trying to stay cool in spray parks, water parks, lots of cool sweeps. And that's because it was an incredibly hot summer. Take a look at some of the numbers on last year's weather. So, yes, it was a hot one. We had 22 days that were 90 or hotter. We had two heat waves in July. Now, a heat wave is classified as three days in a row or more where we hit 90 or hotter. We had two of those just in July, 11 days in July that were 90 or hotter, but it was also dry, and I think that helped to heat things up. We were about 3.8 inches below average rainfall during the summer months. Now we look ahead and to be perfectly honest, these outlooks are extremely difficult. There are a few things we can look to in terms of guidance. One of that is an El Nino, which we are in right now, which means warmer than average sea surface temperatures off the equatorial Pacific. It kind of jumbles up the jet stream a little bit. Some of the biggest questions are, how strong will this be? Will it last into the entire summer? Another thing we're looking at is the uh, sea, the ocean water temperature off the Atlantic or in the Atlantic I should say right now it's warm and we think that may boost some moisture as we head into the summer months so what does this all mean well this is what we're kind of shaking it down to temperatures slightly above average but really kind of an average summer rainfall we think a little bit wetter than average with the moist air we think we're not going to drop as low overnight so some milder nights and how many 90s because everybody wants to know that again about average 9 to 12 is what we are thinking we average about 8 or 9 so that's what we're thinking for the summer ahead obviously a lot can change Keep it here, and we'll give you the week-to-week -week forecast.